my people congratulations to vidin vidin not talk like bob we are never in prison honorable taju ojo don't do investigation he don't go submit the paper for us of rep today so make we listen to honorable taju ojo and as of reps representative on so make we list it today congratulations to vidin i present the report on phase one of the investigative panel on nigerian correctional services thank you sir Here is the first um, phase report of the independent investigative panel on the alleged corruption, abuse of power, torture, cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment against the Nigerian Correctional Service, which is being submitted today to the Honorable Minister of Interior, Honorable Dr. Olubimi Tunji Ojo. Here's a good summary. This interim report, which is the phase one report of the panel, focuses on the findings in relation to the investigation into specific cases, namely Mr. Idris, Okunaya, widely known as Bob Risky, and to verify if he served his sentence in the Nigerian Correctional Service Custodial Centers and to ascertain the veracity of the claim that an inmate in Kuja Custodial Center was intimidated, threatened, and defrauded by the officer in charge. It also highlighted other alleged violations by correctional officers which require further investigation as well as effective solutions. The finding of the panel thus far shows the following. One, the panel did not find any evidence thus far that suggested that Mr. Idris Okunaya slept outside the custodial center during the period of his imprisonment, which was from 12th April 2024 to the 5th August 2024, with a six months correctional sentence with the usual um, remission applicable. During this period, he was transferred from Ikoyi Custodial Center to Medium Security Custodial Center, Kwikwia Papa, Lagos. And that was on the 12th of April. On the 22nd of April, 2024, he was transferred from Medium Security Custodial Center, Kwikwia, to the Maximum Security Custodial Center from where he was discharged after completion of his sentence on the 5th of August, 2024. The state controllers of corrections have the power by law to transfer an inmate from one custodial center to another within the same state. Proper documentation of Okunaya Idris was not made parallel or as he was being transferred from Ikoi custodial center to medium custodial center medium security, and from the medium security custodial center to the maximum custodial center Kriya power places. The documents were later provided on the 28th of September, 2024, and backdated to the 12th of April, 2024, and 22nd April, 2024, respectively. These are in violations of section 168 and 169 of the Nigerian Correctional Service Standing Order Custodian, the transfer of Mr. Okunaye Idris from the medium security Kirikiri Lagos to the maximum security Kirikiri Lagos, being a first offender, violated section 164A and section 164B of the Nigerian Correctional Service Act of 2019. The panel also found that Mr. Okunaye Idris enjoyed several privileges while in custody, both at the medium security and the maximum security custodial centers, which include especially the following, furnished single cells, humidifier, 
lots of visits by his family members and friends as he desired visit by his family members and friends held inside the office, office of the in charge of the custodial center floor rug self-feeding designated inmates to run errands for him access to fridge and television and possibly access to his phone it is necessary to further investigate if the above privileges provided for okunaya idris were financially motivated and based on corrupt practices by correctional officers. The panel believes that the peculiar case of the inmates and the inmates' physical look and behavior pose a threat, and the lack of laid down rules for the treatment of such a case may have necessitated such privileges to be granted to Okunaya Idris. On the issue of Abdul Rashid Minor's son, sending money to the personal account of the Kujay custodial center deputy in charge who is the deputy controller of corrections Kevin Ilafo C. Ikechubu. This was found to be true. The panel is of the view that DCC Kevin Ilafo C. Ikechubu acted unethically and brought himself and the Nigerian Correctional Service to great disrepute by requesting and receiving money into his personal account from Abdul Rashid, my last son. For us, we, we have nothing to hide. And for us, it's about reform and it's about cleaning the process and making sure that we build strong institutions, you know, and that we build institutions that will uplift each and every one of us. The Nigerian Correctional Service is a key institution within our justice um, system. And within even the National Security Architecture, the Nigerian Correctional Service is a very, very key institution. And therefore, any form of corruption, any form of malfeasance, any form of abuse of power, torture, cruelty, inhumane, and degrading treatment will never be accepted. So for us, we have started the journey. Whoever the officer might be, I don't care where he's from, found wanting, according to this report, will pass through the necessary disciplinary process of the board and we will make sure that those officers, their actions and methods with the sort of sanctions and